I just think, I just think poor it. What? I think something pitiful to it. With a glance, she looked not having any facial. Oh God. But I, but I feel her feelings are about to explode. Is the thought my mistake? But now there's more words I'm interested to know. She did, so she did something pitiful to it. Well, what do you mean? What did you do to Komodori? Is Komodori there because something was done to it? Chief told me to forget about it before. Why did you say so? Why didn't you tell me about it? So I waited for Chief to say something. She looked like she had given up and shook her thin lips. I cannot answer all the questions you asked now. I told you to forget about it because I didn't know how you, how you would react to it. It was really a waste of time. I slumped because I was disappointed. But she didn't stop talking there. But... I shall tell you about it a little now. When I look up, there was no expression and no looks of apprehension to meet me. Komodori is here because it has, it is it has it hopes to be. Why does it hope? Why does it hope to be here? Komodori is here for people who hope it to be here. What was done to it? Because people hoped it to be, and it was hoped to be. That's the answer. Does it mean? Does it mean the matter? Everyone. Everyone. It's not just the master. Ah, okay. Not the master. Okay. The matter was supposed to be the master. Okay. But all the people who live in this castle want Komodori. That's why you don't need to feel scared nor escape from it. You just need to accept it. That's all you need to do. You will definitely become happy. Everyone needs Komodori. If it's true, why was Komodori killed? It was hoped to exist. Go back to your room now. Yes. Chief stopped the conversation before she realized herself, or felt my agitation. I should go to Drossel's room tomorrow. If she comes after me, she will know, know I meet with Drossel. I should go back to my room today. Thank you very much. I bowed deeply in her direction and was about to leave the place. You should get to know Waldstein. Waldstein. I think you already know, but the person has... But he, but he has a lot to do with Komodori. When you get to know him, you will know about Komodori too. After saying that, the chief went ahead to the other side of the hallway without waiting for my reply. About the master. I don't know anything about him, but... You are one of my maids, so you should be proud to be yourself as a human being. Don't de debase, deface... So many words could be that one. Be proud of yourself. He's not a bad person, is he? My main job this morning is washing laundry. I collect clothes and sheets and wash them, and then I hang them to dry. Oh. It was clothes. I can tell it's made of expensive ma- Well, yes, it is clothes. I can tell it's made of expensive material just by touching it, but how, but how I see it. Nobody wears this. It was a small cloth. Even Meal and Rig, the smallest people in the castle, cannot wear this. I don't remember washing it or hanging it to dry. I should ask about this later. I judged Moscow was in charge of it, and I put it back to the laundry basket for later. What's wrong? Oh, Lynn. Oh, I should remember he told me to call him Lynn. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you Lynn. Then that's okay. You looked confused. Did anything happen to you? Oh no, I I'm fine, thank you. I just saw clothes I've never seen before, so I was wondering whose they are. After I said it, I showed the clothes in my hands as I thought it's just normal conversation. Yeah. She still has this kind of thing. What? Hold on, I think my dog. Yeah, okay. Iris has been sick since last night, so I gotta go let her out again. As I got confused about what to do with his reaction, he started talking about the information I really want to know the most. It's Scaras. Scaras? It's like her anti-anxiety drug. Please take it to her soon. Okay, thank you for telling me. I thought about going to Scaras room, but I was worried about Lynette in front of me. Oh, something about his face. I might think about it too much, but he looked like he was about to hurt himself. What's wrong? Go to her fast. Lynette realized I hadn't left there soon and chastised me with his eyes and words. He looked like he wanted me to leave him alone, but I don't feel it's a good idea to leave him alone like this. Hey, you look pale. What's wrong? Nothing. You don't look fine. You don't feel good? It's nothing to do with you. Just, just 
Let me just worry about you. Hey, shall we go to the doctor's room? If you don't feel good, I will let you use my shoulder. After I said so, I was about to touch his body. You are. Are you on? Are you happy? What? There's a sudden question. Am I happy? Now you are here, and you feel happy? He didn't look like he was kidding. It wasn't a normal conversation. Suddenly, I remember the conversation between Chief Brahuri and me last night. So you don't need to feel scared about it. Scared about it, not escape. Nor escape from it. You just need to accept it. That's all you need to do. You will definitely become happy. I am... I don't know. Oh. She has returned from her bathroom break. So let's go close the door. <sighs> me? I asked him the same question that he just asked me, because he looked. Well, it's difficult to say this, but you don't look like you're happy right now. I see. Did you just cry? Looks like they animated it here. Yes, that's normal, isn't it? It's me who doesn't understand this. Lynette, nothing. I'm sorry to keep you here. Probably should have said I don't know. But I probably don't. The words came to me like a circling bird. Happiness. I've never thought about well about it before. I never thought I would be thinking about this. Lynette isn't happy. I didn't know the exact answer to that, as I was wondering. Wandering, I arrived at Scara's room. Hi, Robin. Welcome. Hello. What's wrong? Do you want some cute clothes? Now I'm available to help you. What? Which color do you want? How about navy silk satin? The base is white with lots of frills and chiffon. No, thank you. I came here to give this to you. To close, I took the clothes out in a hurry because I sensed that she would make make me change the doll. Oh, why do you have it? It seems it was lost in a pile of other laundry. Oh no, I'm sorry. I accidentally put it there. Was it because I haven't been sleeping well these days? Well, is this... Is this? This is for dolls. It's my hobby. What she said made sense to me. As she said, the size of the side of it matches the dolls. It reminded me of the antique dolls at the orphanage. See, there are many of those. Oh. She said so and showed me lots of cute clothes which have different designs from one from the other ones, but the same size as that. Wow, they are wonderful. I used to like playing with dolls. I started sewing because of that. The first thing I sewed was a pair of socks for a doll. You don't get bored with both, with both your job and your hobby making clothes? Not at all. I often focus too much on that and forget to sleep and eat. I rather cannot... I cannot be calm if I don't sew. Oh, that's why Lynette said it's like an anti-anxiety drug for her. She likes sewing that much and be seeing her smile. You are happy when you sew some clothes. Well, yes. I don't have anything I can say like that, so I envy you. What? Lynette asked me before if I'm happy or not. Happiness? I've never thought of being unhappy, but I've never thought if I'm happy or not either. Oh, it doesn't mean I'm dissatisfied with the conditions now. I know. You don't need to worry about it. Lynette now says something sentimental like that. Scar nodded as she was profoundly moved. His position is a little bit confusing, so he might think about various things. Confusing? Well, I love adolescence. It's a shame I cannot support him. Yes? Although I didn't understand what it meant, it seems she understood that. Well, happiness. After a little silence, Scara opened her mouth and said an unexpected reply. I think happiness means perfect. Perfect? Yes, perfect. So she whispered like she was singing with her gorgeous smile. If it is stolen, you feel disappointed. If it is broken, you feel broken. If that happens, you cannot get it back. So there's no lacking, no dirtiness, and everything is there as it should be. That's respectable. Scara looked at her left arm. I know that because I've lost a lot of things on the way here, so I know. You are fine, Robin. You are beautiful. Unlike me, you haven't lost anything. I think you're beautiful. You said the same thing as the Master. What? I stumbled as she suddenly mentioned about the Master. I am same as you, Robin. The Master bought me. So, 
At first, I was thinking to escape when nobody saw me, but people here evaluated me without judging my status or appearance. I had been treated like a human for the first time here. So I dislike lords, especially men, but I appreciate him. I didn't know that. What do you think about the master? What? Yes, yes, I want to talk about that. I heard you had a tea party with the master, didn't you? How was it? Well, the master not only looks scary, but also his attitude is bad, don't you think? Weren't you told off strictly? But please don't misunderstand him. He's a strange person, but not a bad person. I went back where the scar came forward to me enthusiastically. There's lots of bad rumors about him, but most of them are made up stories and illusions. Not all of them. He knows a lot. He is a fairly good person. Above all, he is rich. Well, I was smiling, not knowing what to do. Now you two are here. Oh. Hi, Robin. I'm glad you look fine. Did you come here to get your clothes fixed? So did I. Hey, Skara, about this button. Just put some spit on it. Why does she hate him this much? I have been like this a lot these days. Sounds like you have fun. Do you think so? I have lots of worries. And Drossel, you want to say Komodori was killed might be my misunderstanding, don't you? Am I so easy to understand? Yes, very much. And it's easy to say. Well, if everyone wants Kom Komodori, as the chief maid said, they won't kill it. And I don't feel anyone would kill someone. Yes, all of them look nice. So, but people can kill someone even when they don't have bad intentions. What? It doesn't matter if they want it or care about it. There's a time when you just when just the result of killing is left. There are people who can do anything for loved ones in the world. Love. I don't know about it very well. Hey, do you have anyone you like? What? It seems this conversation is a little bit too early for you. Don't ridicule me. Well, so let's talk about something else. The chart you were talking about before. You shouldn't look at it yet, at least for now. At least for now? I shall talk to you now a little bit. I worry about the future. Even though I try to find out, I feel limited as long as people in the castle keep their mouths closed. If they cannot talk to me now, does it mean they will tell me about it when they, the time comes? But it feels it's not right to just wait. It was the same when I first decided. I want to know about Komodori. I can't help wanting to know about it. I don't understand where the desire comes from. You'll be fine. If you don't stop thinking about it, you'll see the truth. I hope so. So you should be prepared for it. What? What will you know when you know the truth? Uh, what will you know when you know the truth? The truth? What will I know? That the truth is too hard to endure. Yet there's a reason that it's too difficult to be in the castle. I realized that possibility for the first time when Drossel mentioned about it. I... At that time, I saw a warm color on the other side of the hallway. Ah. There's light coming from the crack in the door. The room must be a wardrobe. Scara still works at, the, at this... At this... Works this late? She must be making some clothes today, too. I worried about her saying she lacked sleep, and I looked... And I looked into the room. As I expected, there's Scara focused on working in the room. The light on the lamp illuminates the work desk around it. I can tell from behind her, single-minded movements made her sew the white cloth. It wasn't like saying she is... It wasn't like saying she is into sewing, but it was something else. She just kept moving her hands as if she depended on it or she was trying to escape from something. And next to her... There's someone standing next to her as if he or she is snuggling and looking into it. Komodori was standing there. Buscari didn't look at the strange existence and kept sewing clothes. It was like she was obsessed with something. Skara! Before I realized, I had already shouted her name. Whoa, it's surprising. What are you doing so late at night? Skara stood up and lost her balance and... She went through the body of Komodori. What's wrong? You look pale. Skara ran toward me as if worrying about me. At the same time, Komodori disappeared slowly. But you saw it, right? I envy you. I want to see it, too. I've never seen it. 
What about people who just haven't met Komodori yet? Do you escape? Why? No, people cannot see it. Excuse me. What? What did you do just now? What? I was just sewing some clothes. And she looked at the work desk there. I could see she was sewing clothes for dolls. Clothes, clothes, and more clothes. There's a pile of small clothes. The amount of clothes seemed a bigger issue than the existence of Komodori. What's up? What do you want? No, I couldn't sleep and I took a walk and I could see the light here. Oh no, staying up late is not good for your beauty. <laughs> I'm not one to say that. The scar in front of me smiles beautifully just the same as the daytime. Well, I should get back to my room. Are you okay? Shall I, shall I take you? No, I'm sorry for bothering you. I want to leave here as soon as possible, but I just had one thing to ask her. Well, you are happy when you make clothes, aren't you? Yes. I am so in to be happy. The wind came in from somewhere and the light went out. Okay, I'm gonna call it there. Because it's almost 9 o'clock and I should probably get ready for bed so I can actually sleep and then get up tomorrow and get ready for work. And make some calls to financial departments because bullshit. Bullshit! Fight the man! Fight, fight stupidity. I don't know. Okay. Thank you everyone for watching. And yeah. That was not a wink.